Hey guys, today we are in Fiat Punto with this beautiful view on the dumpster, but let's not get distracted. Over here there's a device that I want to show you today. This is an all-in-one multimedia station with a CarPlay and Android Auto built-in and it's very easy to um, install it in the vehicle. I've been uh, driving with it for about two or three weeks right now so I'm pretty confident about pros and cons and upsides and downsides of this device. So maybe let me guide you through it and then we will talk pros and cons of it. You can see that the installation is based on a, on a suction cup over here. The arm is extendable. We have some adjustment uh, nuts over here and over here. And there's a ball joint over here so we can adjust the angle of the display um, to the desired position. And in the box, other, other than the user manual, you will find you will find this bracket to mount this device uh, to the dashboard directly into one, if you want some kind of a permanent solution. Let me show you what kind of connections we have over here on the side. So going from the bottom to the top, we have 12 volt power connector. We have USB port, we have audio output, we have camera input, we have memory card port, and there's a built-in microphone over here um, at the top of the edge. And on this side, we have a single button which you can use to mute the sound from this device. Also, there's a reset pin and there's a small red LED indicator over here. I'm not sure if you can see this. And over here in the uh, bottom left corner, I believe there's a second uh, microphone. So let me tell you what this actually is. You can see that we have CarPlay over here and my phone is lying around over here without USB cable because this is a wireless CarPlay solution. Both CarPlay and Android Auto, which is also supported by this device, are running wirelessly. All you need in your vehicle to make this work is somewhere to mount it, like your windscreen and you need 12 volt power so you need a 12 volt power socket over here because uh, you need to power this device somehow so these are the two things that uh, that are required to make this work in basically any vehicle so this is a great solution for all vehicles like this one this is a 15 years old fiat punto which was designed way way um, back in the day before um, anyone could think about uh, carplay as you expect, we have touch screen over here, which is pretty um, high resolution. It's a higher resolution than in uh, the Golf Mark 7. I'm talking about my stock factory display in the Golf Mark 7, which supports um, uh, CarPlay. Uh, so we have touch input and of course we have voice control because your phone needs uh, to have the Siri enabled to make CarPlay working. So we can check if the uh, hands-free commands are working uh, by saying, for example, Hey Siri, what time is it right now in Berlin? It's 14.41 in Berlin, Germany. Okay, you can of course adjust the volume of your radio system like you usually do. So let me guide you through the main menu of this device. Let's press over here where we can see all the cool options. We have wireless CarPlay and wireless Android Auto options over here, which I've both tested and both are working great. We have AirPlay, which is a screen mirroring for your device. You can cast your screen from your uh, smartphone to this device. We have uh, some settings. We have Bluetooth phone and Bluetooth music, which, which are not that interesting since uh, CarPlay or Android Auto, whichever you are using, is taking over this functionality. So this is not important. We have USB and memory card playback, which is very cool. I have a memory card inserted over here with some sample footages and some videos. And we have FM transmitter option over here, which I will cover in a second. So maybe right now let's go to the memory card and let's check how the a video footage uh, playback uh, looks like. If the moon really is what you think it okay. is, suit up. Maybe let's not uh, piss off YouTube copyright uh, algorithms. And we have some options to check. Over here we can uh, uh, browse through video, photos and audio files from the uh, memory card. We can um, play some test uh, videos just to check if the uh, device is working correctly. For example, here I'm checking the 
audio and video sync and we can see that this is all in sync this is cool we can check if the device is working in 60 frames per second and i believe we have almost none almost no dropped frames so this is also good and what's else over here we have dolby atmos uh, test uh, video which we can use to test yes. Is Dolby Atmos. You can uh, just uh, keep my word that uh, the audio algorithm over here is working correctly as well. So let's go through settings and we have some basic stuff over here like language, uh, backlight uh, options uh, both for daytime and night time. We have internal speaker um, toggle over here because there is an internal speaker here and some factory reset options. We have the wireless uh, phone connection options over here. We have some Wi-Fi options. Um, also Wi-Fi channel is, is, um, is adjustable over here. Bluetooth options like so and uh, car options, vehicle options, which is pretty much about the rear view camera. Optional equipment over here, but still you can have a an, an rear view camera connected to this device uh, and um, enjoy this uh, neat little feature. And on uh, the home screen over here, the last option is FM transmitter because there's an um, FM transmitter built in over here. So this device is uh, broadcasting the audio stream on this frequency, which is adjustable, of course. And all you need to do in your vehicle is set your radio just to this frequency, 87.5, 87.5. And this means that this device is right now broadcasting the sounds um, uh, from your phone, from CarPlay, from the uh, media playback, whatever it is. Uh, uh, whatever it's uh, doing right now the audio stream is broadcasted to the uh, radio frequency that's set over here and all you need to do on your radio is set your radio to the same frequency to enjoy um, enjoy the audio on your car's speakers so maybe let's talk pros and cons and since we are here i can uh, show you that in the box you will also find a three and a half millimeter an audio jack and this uh, and this means that you can uh, connect this device to your radio uh, directly if there's a lot option if uh, in your radio like this but this one doesn't have one sadly so there are actually three options to uh, have audio from this device uh, you can use uh, wired connection you can use the fm transmitter or you can use the built-in speaker Another cool thing about this uh, device is how adjustable this arm is and how strong the suction cup is. It makes very easy to install it in the in the vehicle and the touch screen, its resolution and the responsiveness makes this device very easy to use as well. The main feature is the wireless CarPlay and uh, wireless Android Auto, which are both running smooth over here i've tested it with my iphone and with my friend's android phone and both those features are working great also media playback is very cool also i like that there's a rear view camera option Good. over here and if you are frequently switching between um vehicles uh, this is a very easy thing to take with you all you need to do is uh, uh, remove the suction cup from the windscreen and disconnect the 12 volt power uh, supply cable over here and install it in another vehicle and i believe in half a minute you are good to go so now let's talk cons and there's pretty much just one thing that annoys me over here i have a pretty old radio and there's no noise cancellation over here so if i turn the ignition off and the whole thing goes off and next time I'm in the car and I turn the ignition back on my radio is on the device is booting up but I can hear static for about 15 or 20 seconds before the device is on and the transmitter and the transmitter kicks in so there's a 20 seconds uh, um, delay before the FM transmitter is broadcasting and um, until that you have to uh, listen to the static noise and this is of course only if you are using the fm transmitter and only if your radio does not uh, feature such thing as noise cancellation and uh, uh, noise recognition on the fm band so that's one annoying thing over here there are some things that could make this device better 
but uh, I don't consider them to be uh, downsides. For example, there's no automatic uh, backlight uh, a regulation over here. You need to press over here to switch between the day and night uh, modes. It's a small inconvenience, but uh, that's not that big of a deal. There's no hard uh, wiring kit, which I would love, especially if you are planning to use this bracket to mount this device permanently. It would be cool to have a fuse tap or something like that to permanently wire it into the, your car's installation. And also the FM transmitter could um, broadcast RDS name of the station, like CarPlay or something like that, or the device name. It would be a um, uh, just a little thing that would make this um, whole experience even, even better. Other than this, I really like this device and it's a cool addition to any vehicle, especially old one like this one, where um, multimedia stations were not a thing yet and what's else over here if you are interested in uh, how this works and what are the actual specs of this device check the description below this video i will give you some um, information over there as well as link to online store if you want to buy a device like this also there's a five percent of coupon code which you can use uh, while checking out and uh, you will have five percent off on your purchase and that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you liked this uh, short review and subscribe for future ones. See you soon.